You see that thing flying in the sky like nobody's business? Yeah, I'm gonna catch one of those. But hey, why not hit that like button right there? It really helps a man like me out. What? What, what am I doing? Advertising my video? I got a bird to catch. So I started off the video by throwing away my rusty old sword, and making a new one with the few pieces of iron I had left, which probably wasn't the best idea. With that done, I started thinking about ways to keep my pets safe, and the first thing that came to me was a soul stone. If you don't know what a soul stone is, it basically ties your pet's soul to yours, allowing it to be summoned by you whenever you need it, and also allowing it to respawn. The only problem was that they're quite expensive. I mean, look at this, four diamonds? With only having two diamonds, I needed a way to find some more. I took my rafter and went to one of the towers we defeated last episode, and looked through all the chests until we came across this baby hydro. What was this man doing? I took out the boys in blue, and uh, let me tell you, I thought they were putting in the work, but no, they were cutting off its head. And if you didn't know about hydras, I cut one head off and uh, two grow back. It's pretty good. By the end of the battle, we left, and my man's had about a hundred heads to take care of. Mmm, I don't know how that man's gonna do it, but he has to. I decided the best way to make enough diamonds was by taking down battle towers, which probably isn't true considering I can always mine them, but I was a little too battle hungry to do that. We went into the tower and well, I ended up dying, and dying, and dying some more. I was starting to notice a trend. I relied too much on my summons and pets and not enough on myself. With this flimsy weapon, I could never do enough damage, but I was fast enough to keep hitting. Although the fast and weak strat was good, however, I'm playing medieval craft, not Minecraft, so I adjusted. Using all the iron I had, I made the strongest and heaviest weapon in the game. With the new weapon crafted, I was back in the tower, and this time, I was taking the lead. After coming out of the tower with the few diamonds that I needed, I started crafting the soul stone, and bounded it onto my level 10 raptor. Now my mans could never die, he was pretty strong, a pretty strong man. Now I needed to get back to my mission. I went outside while it was dark and started looking for a rock. I found a golden one which is the rarest one in the game so I fed it some treats and well, it was mine. I went straight to bed so it wouldn't get killed by any of the random mobs that were roaming outside. I walked out ready to ride this man, this new man, but uh, let me tell you, I, I, I couldn't find him. But uh, I, I saw him trying to protect me after I got hit by something, and I, uh, well, yeah, this man died. Uh, on to the next guy. I killed some of my chickens and started cooking some of their meat to make some ch tasty treats. After that, I soon started breeding them so I wouldn't run out anytime soon. Once all of that was done, I stayed outside looking for a rock. I found one and he flew me into the sky. As I was in the sky, I placed some of the treats into his mouth and he was finally tamed. Unfortunately, there was a bun bunch of monsters on the ground so I couldn't just drop down like I wanted to. I used the summoning staff and I let the boys in blue do their work. After I thought it was clear, I dropped down, but I was killed by some man in hiding. The crazy beast man, just waiting for me. I went to bed as quickly as possible so my rock wouldn't die trying to attack whatever attacked me. But uh, when I walked outside, uh, I couldn't find the man. So uh, I went up on the roof, and I found this man's stuff. And another one lost. It was really starting to seem hopeless, but that's what medieval craft was all about. Trying to rise above the hopelessness. I started breeding my chickens again so I could get more meat for later. 
I threw one of the rotten eggs and well, this thing came out. This was a really fast and crazy man. I didn't expect and I didn't even know what to do with him. So I just sat him down. If any of you know what to do with this guy or have any ideas with him, uh, just leave it down in the comments. I'd like to see what you think. With that done, I went back out there. I let a rock capture me and fed this man the last trees that I had left. As soon as that was done, I learned from my past mistakes and set this man to pass it. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I dropped down and went to bed. Once it was morning, I let my raptor clear out the area as to make sure my rock did not die again. As my raptor was clearing things up, I turned my attention to the rock that was in the air. I grabbed some dirt and started building up to him. As I finally built up to him, I got on his back and flew him down to the ground. I summoned my raptor back to me. With all the loot that he collected, I leveled him up with it. With my raptor now leveled up and my rock now tamed as well, everything was looking pretty good. I couldn't wait for my next adventure as I flew off into the sun.